traffic jam is so terrible. People hate traffic jam because it delays our appointments, makes us suffer from uncomfortable stop and go driving, and exhausts pollution, etc. Moreover, traffic jams cause much economic losses. For example, in Japan, there are about 11 trillion yen losses every year caused by traffic jams. Such a huge burden for government finance, right? In order to mitigate traffic jams, several years ago, our research group demonstrated that it is feasible to adjust the speeds of only a few vehicles or even one vehicle in traffic force as actuators to absorb downstream traffic jam. This control strategy is called jam absorption driving. Currently, our research group aims to develop the control system for jam absorption driving. Here are the control steps of the system. Firstly, we constructed an information system. The location of the bottleneck can be estimated by historical observed data beforehand by deploying some roadside sensors nearby upstream of the bottleneck. The information of traffic jam could be detected since traffic jam propagates to upstream. Secondly, after a traffic jam has been detected, the control center designates suitable actuators in traffic flow. When an actuator is getting close to the traffic jam, roadside sensor would transmit information of traffic state around the bottleneck to it. The actuator is a kind of connected and automatic vehicle. It is equipped with onboard communication and self-driving systems for receiving data and executing control commands. Finally, each actuator calculates its optimal speed to absorb their downstream traffic jam. Our simulation results show that the propagation of current traffic jam will stop after an actuator passed the bottleneck. As a result, the indices of fuel consumption, emission, and driving comfort are improved compared to the case of the benchmark. Therefore, the proposed system is able to conduct jam absorption driving to decrease adverse effects caused by traffic jams at bottleneck. Thank you. Thank you.